Well, it's been a while, but this deserves its own video. All right, welcome back. My name is Evan Naka, and today we are in my home office. Now, it's been a while, and I feel like I've said that before, but this deserves its own video unboxing because I am so excited to be able to show you the next wave of type of content that I'm gonna be able to create, but it makes it more accessible to creators like me. This is something that I've thought about buying for a long time. One of my friends who's also a director of photography, he was like, Evan, you gotta check this out. It's a new high speed camera. It offers all of these really cool features, almost phantom esque, you know, phantom, like our good buddy, Cole Walliser, he uses it for all his glam bot videos. You see him at the Oscars, you see him at Grammys, you see him Emmys, pretty much anywhere that requires some kind of dope movement that has a runway. My man Cole's there. Now it's not quite a phantom, but it's definitely better than your typical DSLR that you're using that can maybe shoot up to 120 at 4K at best, maybe 240 at HD. But today we're gonna be unboxing the brand new Free Fly Ember. I think we should just dive into it. Here's the box. All right, let's break into this. Let's check out what we're working with. The ember itself, boom. Some more accessories, accessories. I think this is an accessory. All right, that's it. So let's start with the big papa. Now, the ember, like I was saying, is a new phenomenal camera. It shoots 800 frames per second at 4K. That's incredible. Now, I'm about to tell you the price and it is not cheap, but you have to keep it in perspective in terms of what other cameras in this type of world cost. And it really isn't that bad in comparison. That's why I decided to jump on this because I know I can use it for my product videos. I know it's something I can add on to another shoot that I have going on, especially with all like the pouring shots, the splashing shots, maybe even lifestyle like jumping and moving and you know me i love my movement i love trying to add some type of life to any type of photo video anything that i do let me make sure i'm telling you the right stats i got my phone here okay yeah i, I was right so we have 800 frames per second for 4k then we have 600 frames per second at 5k uh, this is a Sony E-mount, so it uses all my Sony lenses. You know I'm a big Sony guy, so that was a really nice plus for me is that I was able just to slap on any of my other lenses on there. It doesn't have autofocus, but for these types of shots anyways, you don't typically re have to, should rely on autofocus. However, something that is really nice that I believe his name is Potato Jet pointed out when he was using it is that you only need to find that sweet spot. You know, lock in your focus where you think the peak of your your motion is and you can find that focus and bam you only need it for a little bit because if you do the math that quick one second of footage that's in focus actually draws out to a nice 15 second clip or something like that i don't know i, I don't worry about the math anyways this also offers four terabytes of internal storage that's also a really nice plus is that you're not buying a bunch of external cards for it you can just literally use the camera itself as your external hard drive and be able to just dump footage as you're going all right let's open this up and then i'm gonna tell you the price nice little card comes with it we don't care boom i bet you thought it was gonna be a bit bigger and so did i this is what I'm talking about. Look how small this camera is. And it is that cube shape, so it is really easy to mount things onto it. And I have a bunch of accessories to kind of help with that. But look how tiny. Like, this is, well, it's smaller than my FX6, that's for sure. However, 
This is why you're probably gonna wanna get some type of like handle grip or some more mounts to it to give it a little bit more weight because it is pretty light too. That So you can have a little bit more stability on it. What else comes in the box? I threw that away a little too quickly. Yep, you just have your USB-C to USB-C. You have your power cable. We'll have that on the side. We have these little Allen wrenches. Cool. I think that's all that comes in the box. So if you order the camera by itself, this is all it comes with right here. This will cost $17,995. Now, before you turn off your video and you're like, shit, that's just way too expensive. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. That's out of my price range. You have to remember who this is for. You can't capture this type of footage unless you have like a phantom. The wave they have, the wave was iffy. Um, I've heard, I never really used it, but I heard mixed results. People liked it. People didn't like it. It was really difficult to use in terms of how to light things. And it didn't have very much dynamic range. And it was just, it was more of a cumbersome tool, but if you can nail it, you can nail it. Some creators can use it and they're great. I'm not that one. I want the big beefy boy. So, yep. I dropped about $18,000 on this camera by itself. This isn't sponsored. This is, this is my money that I wanted to put invest into my career to be able to provide this to all the clients out there. And speaking of dynamic range, this captures in 10 bit ProRes. So very comparable to some of the other DSLRs out there. It's not amazing, but it's still really good and a big upgrade from what it was able to do before with the wave. And then some of the other cameras out there as well. Um, really, I think this is probably the best camera at its price point for what it's capable of doing. And remember I said comparable to like the Phantom, you're talking. 50, 60, 70, 100, $120,000 for that camera. Not to mention the setup and gear that it comes with, the dedicated uh, specialty camera operator that it needs and the crew that it needs. This is the dream for a single person creator that is able just to grab this, run outside, get some dope footage and drop it back into their video edit that it doesn't get much better than this. All right, let's check out all of this before I just talk your ear off. What else we got here? I just went ham. I just went ahead and just bought everything because I was like, I don't want to need something and be on a shoot and be like, oh shoot, I should have bought that. These accessories aren't that expensive. And especially if you're dropping 18 grand on this, spending extra $20, $15, $30. All right, let's just get the nice kit so that we're not scrambling in the future. So I got a cheese plate. This is a mount for the screen that kind of lifts it up a little bit more. Yeah, this is the mount for the actual screen itself to the camera. And I'll build it really quick here. And then this is something fun too. <laughs> I don't know what half this stuff is. Uh, this is rails that are gonna go on the camera, another rail that goes on the camera. And then I think this is my, sh no, what is this? I don't know what this is. I don't know. Anyways, here's a couple more things. This is my V mount plate. It doesn't have a back to it. Is this correct? It must be. I guess we'll turn it on and see. We got a nifty little handle right here. So a bunch of good things. And let's go ahead and build this. Cool, much easier. All right, I tried that pretty much like every single way that you could possibly try on this camera. And I think I finally got it. Uh, yeah, so far, so good. What I'm putting on right now, it just is a spacer. If you can see that from your lens to your monitor, just to give you a bit more room to, to play with. So you're not, ever running into an issue. If you use a big cine lens or something like that, it doesn't bonk into it. So right now the issue that I'm running into is I bought a cheese plate for this guy to go on to. However, my, they didn't send me the spacers that I needed to connect this to the back of the camera, which is okay. Not really because I need that to make it all work, but we will Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We have hidden things in the box. I spoke too soon. Okay, we got these. That means we can continue building. All right, so the only other piece that I'm missing, honestly, is, and it was my fault, is I just need another one of these guys for this, and this mounts your phone. All of the functions are on your phone it's through an app and you can control it that way because you notice there is no screen on this so what it does it just sits right here and then you can have your phone sitting here your monitor over there and then you can control everything 
So that's kind of a nice to have. But as is, it will work. I just have to throw in a V-mount. Let me throw in a V-mount just to... Oh, yes. For a second, I was like, oh, maybe it won't fit. Woo! All right, that V-mount made it heavy. They sell smaller V-mounts, but I have a bunch of these ones, so I just wanted to use what I had. But I could see why I would kind of want something a bit smaller, especially now that's so back heavy. Once you put the lens on, let's slap a lens on, shall we? Boom. And there you go. This is the Freefly Ember. This whole package, not including the lens, battery, and monitor, this whole package comes out to be just over $20,000. I, I said it in the beginning of the video, this camera isn't for everybody, but in comparison to all the other cameras out there that can do something that this is capable of doing, it's a really hard to beat camera. If you're looking to get into slow motion stuff, if you do a lot of product, if you do a lot of action, if you do racing, if you do things that things happen fast, but you want to slow it down, this is the camera for you. And I guarantee you, once your clients see it, once the people out there, maybe you're just creating your own content, once they see it, they're going to go, holy crap, that's amazing. I want more. And that's what I'm planning to do with this camera. All right, guys, this was our first unboxing of this. I, there's a, one or two more pieces that I need to purchase to make sure that it's completely built out. Um, but as is, it's looking fantastic. Many more videos to follow up on this to see how this performs in real life with product, with lifestyle, outside, indoors, whatever the case may be. Um, I have a shoot plan for next week that already is using this. So can't wait to show you all the results. All right, guys, you take care. I'm Evan Naka, and I'll see you next time. Stay creative.